why did you decide the first time not to stand for the anthem? Um, I think simply I felt like it was the right thing to do. I think in part, you know, seeing what, what Colin went through the first time and seeing even Eric Reed and Jeremy Lane and, and what was what was said about them and the way that it was said about them um, and not talking about the issues that they wanted to talk about, that felt wrong to me. And I understand that kneeling in front of the flag is a very a very strong statement. But I felt like the conversation went more racist than really talking about the issues. And not that I can sympathize with what it means to be black in this country, but um, I am gay and I feel like I have an, a level of empathy in just you know, not having all my rights protected. You made a decision a few years ago to come out publicly. How has that informed what you're doing now? In much the same way that I came to the decision about kneeling, I came to the decision about coming out. It wasn't really a question of, is this the right thing to do? Should I do this? It very quickly became, why am I not? Why am I not out? It felt sort of against the grain of my body to not speak out. And when all this stuff came up with Colin and him kneeling and then the conversation around it, it was like, how do I not? How do you feel about the argument that everyone acknowledges the right to do something like this but might object to this as a way of demonstrating your dissatisfaction? I understand where they're coming from, but I also think that there's a place for that and for that love of the flag, but also understanding what that flag is actually representing and what it actually means and what it means for someone to either be drafted in the military or join the military. It's to fight for not just a particular type of patriotism that is comfortable for you, but all kinds of patriotism. And it's meant to protect everybody. On Sunday, on the 15th anniversary of 9-11, you didn't kneel. You linked arms with your teammates. What was your thinking going into Sunday? Um, yeah, I had a, a lot of conversations. I talked with a few guys on the Seahawks. I thought that that was pretty powerful. I think that 9-11 deserves the utmost respect. And while I personally, in my heart, I don't think it's disrespectful to kneel in front of the flag. Otherwise, I, I never would join. I understand that it's a heavy day. You have another decision to make Thursday night representing the United States which has not been the case when you're representing your club team. How is that influencing your thinking about Thursday night? Uh, tremendously. <laughs> it is different. I understand that. In a way, I think a lot of people feel like it's more inflammatory to protest while wearing that shirt, but I actually feel like it's more American to do that and to represent my country. So what will you be doing? I want to ultimately bring as many people to the conversation as possible. So I'm trying to find a way to talk about what I want to talk about and not alienate people. I'm working through that, but I will be doing something. Does it complicate whatever you choose to do, the fact that I'm assuming you'll be standing at attention for the Thai national anthem? I don't think so. Um, I understand what people are saying in that. Am I going to stand for an anthem that, in many ways, one of the worst um, violators of human rights in the world? Uh, I, I understand that conversation, and I think it's a little bit unfair, to be honest. Are you ready for the backlash if it comes? Yeah, I am. I feel like what I'm doing is right. Do we want to live in a country where someone exercises their First Amendment right? Whether you agree with it or not, or you think it's offensive or not, that they're called the N-word, the C-word, a bitch, anti-American, whatever. Is that is that the kind of discourse that we want to have? Is that the kind of conversation that we want to have? You may not agree with me, but that doesn't make me a bad person. It's up to all of us. Like That's the most important thing out of this whole thing, I think, is realizing that everybody can make a difference.